questions. Should athletes have a right to collectively bargain? <laughs> it's got to be you. Come on. Yes. Yeah, they do, right? I mean, yeah. it's America, right? Thank you. What we need is McDonald's hamburger flippers having a right to right. bargain. We need to have union jobs for working people in America, working class people, and those are service industry jobs and restaurant jobs. <laughs> and if those are the only jobs we have left, we have to make those living wage jobs, and we need a new union movement. It, it looked like good news for the NFL today. What about the NBA next year? I can't even go there. You That's can. the most expensive question I can answer. Right. <laughs> Well, we don't want to do that to you, because Lord knows <laughs> Very expensive. you have to eat. <laughs> yeah. What about jets might be in jeopardy? Two of those jets have no catering. <laughs> <laughs> but you can tax me on them. I will. That's I will. right. Up to me. All right. Should we institute a mandatory war tax when we decide to participate in a military conflict? Yes. <laughs> what are the panel's thoughts on California bill? Oh, yes, the California bill, I know this, requiring schools to teach the contributions of gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender Americans. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you answered the sports question and you answered that? Yeah. <laughs> when I read that story, I couldn't help but ask myself how much of that curriculum is going to be speculative. Yeah, in, in the sense that, you know, how many out people have there been? I mean, is it going to be sort of like, well, we got a pretty good feeling about Calvin Coolidge. I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, we can't confirm it, but he right. had a life outside well, of the if, Oval Office. If, if, if they don't know what we're talking about, California Pestle had said you have to teach in schools now the contributions of gay Americans. Like when I was a kid, they started to teach the contributions of black Americans. You know, I remember like George Washington Carver. I mean, that's all anyone invented, remembers. That's that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. We've got a real like, problem in the schools with bullying of LGBT kids. Uh, bullying to death, and they have a program in the United Kingdom where they started teaching the contributions of people they knew to be gay, like Alan Turning, who basically won the Second World War by decoding, by breaking right, the Nazi right. ciphers, and then was hounded to death by the British government as a way of thanking him after the war. He committed suicide. Right. Well, he, and he when they it, taught these, they taught my, these historical my, my, figures my, who were gay, yeah. bullying decreased in these yeah, schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my parents both fought in World War II. My mother was an army nurse. He didn't win it all, all by himself. <laughs> it, was, it was a big assist. It was the, a knowing big assist. what the Nazis were talking right. about and where they were going next and what they were doing right. really was a huge contribution to winning the war. And a I'm lot not of saying it, was it wasn't a contribution. I'm just saying he didn't do it all by himself. <laughs> no, it was one, one gay guy in England. <laughs> but, uh... but it sounds like, Dan, you think this is a good idea. It's a great idea. It's a, yeah. And a lot of people on the right have a problem with acknowledging the existence of gay people where there are children present. They think people will become gay if gay people are acknowledged in the presence but of But think about the process, works. Dan. I don't disagree, but think about the process, right? At least in Texas, to get new books, new school books in place, they go through this whole process. And you know who runs those committees that put together the curriculums in those books and yeah. pick the books? Those far right-wing guys that you hate. And so all you're doing is just adding clusterfuckism to the whole process, <laughs> you know? And look, you, you pick the people who, who contribute and do amazing <coughs> things, and if, if they've self-identified, I'm gay, um, you know, whatever it may be, great. You know, but if you try to make it a rule, all you're doing is adding more bureaucracy, and the people who are controlling the bureaucracy are going to use that as leverage to do what they want to do. You well, the right-wingers in Texas use their leverage to expunge facts, basically, from no history. Question. And liberals can do the same in liberal states to work facts back into the history books, like and facts about people who are actually gay or lesbian or And education just goes Zoof! Out the door. It's already there, though. I mean, I, I, I don't always understand that, that argument about sort of like, well, you don't want more bureaucracy. I mean, you have to fight the good fight somewhere. And, and if you're just saying, like, you know, let's not complicate things, let's just keep it stupid. I no, mean, you no, know, look, no, no, look, no, no, you get things done. You don't just create committees, you know, committees no, no, got to start committee. somewhere. It's just, it's not creating a new committee. As I understand it, it's just adding a new, I mean, right. you do it's have to have standards. Adding to the curriculum in the curriculum, and it's just adding a new one to a curriculum that already exists, a committee that already exists will have and one if, more thing. It's not like if California refrained it. from doing this, Texas would stop doing it too. It's not like there'd be detente on the school front. If it were only that front. easy, right, if it were only that easy. I mean, you just and know I, that's just not the way it's gonna work. And I could think of, I mean, to your point, I could think of some gay Americans who they could teach you about, Eleanor Roosevelt, we know. J. J. Edgar Hoover. Sure, yeah. We know. Mm -hmm. Uh, Walt Whitman. Yeah. So there's three. And yeah, that's about it. Abraham Lincoln. 
Abraham. There's a well, there's Abraham. A, there's a growing body of scholarship that oh. says he might See, be gay. And if there's nothing wrong with being gay, speculating that he might have right. been gay is no insult well, to then, Mrs. Right. Lincoln, who he wasn't very fond of. Right. Well, well if every guy who was not that fond of his wife was gay. <laughs> That's a, that's a ridiculous standard. To, to Speculating think. about people being gay is a, is a very popular pastime in America, and certainly in Hollywood, it happens all the time. Okay, here's one for the doc. Why do doctors often prescribe pills to their patients rather than diet or lifestyle changes? Pills make money. There you go. <laughs> yeah, when I... I very often, when I've been in a doctor's office, I, I see that pharmaceutical rep come in. You know, with carrying the, the suitcase. And she's or, always hot. Always, always hot. hot shit, right? Exactly. Always. Exactly. I was just going to say that. <laughs> or Jake Gyllenhaal in that movie, hot. <laughs> I would have I I loved other that. drugs he was carrying around and loved other drugs. Yes, you're right. Jake Gyllenhaal, hot. But depending on. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, Bill. You can concede that Jake Gyllenhaal is hot. Oh, like I haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, but also, some pills are worth the money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, some pills are going to make you feel a lot Maybe better. Maybe Mr. Than Lincoln would have liked Mrs. Pills. Lincoln a little better, right? Like, like, <laughs> like, what pills are you talking about? Like, like Valium or something? Well, yeah, well, any <laughs> pill that's designed to make you feel better, if you overuse it, it's going to really make you feel better. So, I mean, <laughs> no, I, I don't know from but, current experience. But, you know, I mean, I, I started to talk to, to you about this out front there before about Bill Clinton, and I was kind of making a joke about blood flow to the penis, but. Uh, when people have a bad diet, that's when they need the Viagra, right, Doc? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. It's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. Age has yeah. nothing to do with it. I thought. You know what I no, think? No, it's, it's really true. If we didn't, if we were eating right, we wouldn't need to be selling c Cialis and all this, that Viagra and stuff like that. Well, but you're, you're really 77. True. You don't need it, right? No. <laughs> all right, Doc. High five. All right, we gotta go. Thank you. We'll see you next week. All right.